Arista Pioneer and leads in low latency two-tier clouds, big data, and virtualized networks. With such tools as MLAG and ECMP, we've been able to scale up to 50,000 nodes in large-scale large -scale cloud deployments. And a key enabler of that has been the software foundation of EOS. Let's hear some of our partners describe about their integrations with Arista's EOS. We have seen a rise in the momentum behind software-defined networks. VMware has spent a lot of time and energy on network virtualization and software-defined uh, networking. We see the same pattern repeating itself with network virtualization as we saw on the journey in server virtualization and cloud computing. Abstraction, pooling, slicing, and consumption all automated as folks move from virtualization in the data center to its private clouds and hybrid clouds. One of the nice things about the VXLAN is it plays in many of these spaces. First of all, it abstracts a VLAN across the network. You can pool ports into port groups. Finally, you can slice it by tenants and allow it to be consumed by uh, the higher level constructs we talked about. One of the things that uh, has been a pleasure for me working with Arista on is mapping VXLANs onto uh, Arista top of racks. Uh, Arista's EOS um, controller software or with the programmability built in with the mapping onto higher level network constructs has made the experience from a cloud operator perspective, from a cloud consumption perspective, a seamless one. You can now, for the first time, really uh, consume networks in the upper layers by mapping onto VXLANs, which in turn map onto the underlying uh, network fabric, if you will. So uh, we look forward uh, to the ongoing relationship with Arista, and we look uh, to see SDN networks and the SDN journey uh, really begin to take shape over the next few years. Nebula is a company that is taking uh, OpenStack and a number of other open source technologies and switching technologies and building uh, what we call a cloud controller uh, that allows you to build uh, very large scale cloud computing infrastructures from inexpensive servers. OpenStack initially had a very basic network uh, support, basically large flat networks. As we've seen larger and larger service providers use OpenStack as an underlying foundation for their offerings, uh, we started to see a much more modular and pluggable approach to networking in OpenStack. There's a new project called Quantum, which allows us to take uh, technologies such as Arista and control them from within off, uh, OpenStack software-defined networking environment. I think we're starting to see a lot of uh, large service providers and even large enterprises try to be as flexible as possible with how they're deploying infrastructure. And I think what's exciting about architectures like Arista's EOS is that it's pluggable and it's flexible. So regardless of whether you're running VMware or OpenStack in your environment, um, you still have a modular switch uh, they can be controlled from within the software-defined networking frameworks that are available to these products. So as OpenStack continues to evolve, we'll start to see more and more flexibility uh, in the quantum uh, project uh, to allow us to see uh, the, uh, ex the, the features that are exposed by the Arista platform uh, exposed more richly to these large-scale cloud deployments. A big switch network is providing software-defined networking solutions for the enterprise. Uh, Arista has been a great partner of ours, uh, combining our big switch software-defined networking controller with their best-of-breed data center switches. One of the, the key advantages of Arista's uh, EOS is that it allows very easily to add OpenFlow functionality to the switch and provide our end customers um, with the hybrid switches uh, that combine uh, a traditional best-of-breed feature stack together uh, with an OpenFlow client. Uh, for software-defined networking applications. One of the advantages of Arista's modular software architecture is that you can use the native commands from the Arista CLI to mirror the traffic uh, from a port um, into the OpenFlow network that's controlled um, by the data tab application from BigSwitch, which then takes it and redirects it to the monitoring and analysis boxes in another part of your network. The origins of the SDN movement are in the OpenFlow protocol from Stanford University. OpenFlow provides switch operators and controller vendors a way to manipulate layer 2 flows at a very fine granularity, including layer 2, 3, and 4 forwarding information. While uh, real-world solutions that include OpenFlow are still under development, uh, Arista is helping by implementing OpenFlow 1.0 in our switches, the 7050 series. And we look forward to continuing to work with that community as the OpenFlow protocol evolves, acquires new message types, 
and becomes an increasingly practical component of an overall network management solution. Arista has been a great partner for us. I think there's a philosophical alignment around the idea of openness. And their open software architecture has allowed us to build very powerful solutions for our end customers that allow them to control their network traffic using, using open software defined networking. Thanks very much to our partners, Big Switch Networks, Nebula, and VMware. They truly are providing that fourth pillar of Arista's evolution to software defined cloud networking. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to working with you in the future. <laughs>